Well, welcome to the Junior Sun Devil Club press conference of the women's basketball uh, representative. Today we have a couple of um, our players from our women's basketball team and members of the Junior Sun Devil Club who are going to ask them some tough questions, right kiddos? No, you guys ask, answer, ask, ask awesome questions. All right, to start off, we're going to do some introductions. Uh, Taylor, can you do your introduction first, please? Yes. Good. Gabby Vasquez is a recent addition to the Sun Devil women's basketball team. When she transferred to ASU in April 2020 while at Blinn College, she helped her squad to a 25 and 7 record, a re regional semifinal appearance, and a number 24 national ranking. Gabby plays the position of guard and is in her junior year in school. She is from Kyle, Texas. Nice job, Taylor. Welcome, Gabby. Welcome to ASU. Nothing like coming during a pandemic, but okay. Right. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, take it away. Sydney Eric, um, a freshman on the ASU Sun Devil women's basketball team, comes from Beaverton, Oregon. She plays the position of guard and was ranked 32nd by ESPN.com in her position. In high school, Sydney helped her team to the state semifinals and was the favorite to claim the state title when the remainder of the season was canceled due to COVID. Well, that's a bummer of an ending. Thank you, yeah, it was unfortunate. <laughs> as with everybody, right? Well, welcome to ASU to you as well. Uh, so both of you are fairly new to ASU. We are excited to have you here. Our women's basketball program has a long tradition of success. I'm sure the both of you will be a big part of that. So we are going to start off our questions with, um, we're going to just go in order so I don't forget. Erica, would you like to start with a question? Sure. Um, do you have any advice for anyone about accomplishing goals or um, dreams? Big start. <laughs> Sydney, why don't you answer questions first and then Gabby, you can follow her up. Okay. Um, yeah, I would just say um, have no regrets, do whatever it takes to get to achieve your goals. I know for me, sometimes that would mean like not make, having to make difficult decisions. And sometimes I couldn't hang out with my friends, but ultimately like I knew I wanted to play division one basketball and I was willing to do whatever it took to get there. Excellent. Gabby? Yeah, that's awesome response, Sid. I would also, on top of that, just add to um, like never give up. Like, you know, even when it gets like super impossible and you feel like you can't do it anymore or like there's all these obstacles in the way that you may think are telling you to like stop, like you can't reach this goal. Like, no, like you just have to keep working and take all obstacles as an opportunity to grow and just um, get closer to your dream. So, yeah. Thank you. Awesome answers. All right, next up, we're gonna have uh, Taylor. Taylor, you got a question? How old were you when you started playing basketball? Ooh, um, I wanna say, I actually don't know the age off the top of my head. I can tell you the grade. I was in first grade and I remember I just started playing. I have a twin sister and I remember we just started playing out in the street because we thought it was fun. And then it just kept, we kept getting better and working on our game and yeah. Awesome, Gabby? Yeah, I totally remember mine. So before basketball, I was a dancer and I remember in third grade, I, um, well, my brother got me into basketball. So I was like nine years old, but I remember that was the best decision of my life. I hated dancing, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're thankful you switched too. All right, Elijah, you're up. What's your question, sir? Okay, go. Welcome to being a sun devil. Nice. Good job, Eliza. 
do you have a nickname or has your team given you one? Ooh, good question. Mm -hmm. I think everyone, so there's two Sydneys on our team. And so everyone, I think everyone calls me Siddy just because my last name starts with a knee and we're both Sid. So she said, see, I'm Siddy. Yeah, that, I think that's the only nickname we have. <laughs> Yeah, mine here, I think I just go by Gabby and Gabs, and that's really it, yeah. <laughs> I call you Gab a lot. <laughs> yeah. The longer you're around, I feel you accumulate. Right. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Especially like, back in on that one in a couple of years. I would say right. during yeah. games too, when you just have to say someone's name quick, like I know some of our girls, like I just say T or K, like just the first letter of their name because it's a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah. you can get out all right, next up is Mackenzie. Got a question? So is your favorite um, sport to play or watch basketball? I would say now, yes. I think at times in high school, it was more just I wanted to play it. But now, like, I really enjoy, like, watching other people's games. And it's funny because you get to this level, too, and it's like, you notice things that when you're just normally watching, you would just be like, oh, that's cool. But then it's kind of cool to like see, like, especially like professional players, like do cool things and like be able to work on that to try to do the same thing eventually. Yeah, um, I would say right now, yeah, my favorite sport to play is basketball. In high school, it was track and like cross country. I loved running. So that was like neck and neck with basketball. And watching, I love watching girls and men's basketball professionally and at any level. And also I like watching volleyball too. It's cool. Fun fact about Gabby, when we had summer workouts, the girl can really run. Like it's crazy how fast she can run on the treadmill. <laughs> oh, I think I was noticing that you were in several state championships in track and field and cross country in high school. Yeah, it was fun. I loved it. Yeah. Dedication to running. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, that. thank you. <laughs> All right, Dakota, you are up. What's your question, hon? My question is, um, how would you celebrate when you win games? I think we just, in the locker room, we have a tradition. So we, if we like, essentially like win, we get to like crack the egg like you kind of crack the team I guess so we get to like throw an egg against like a target so I think that's pretty cool but then we also just I mean at this level it's like we celebrate and then we get back to like focusing on the things we can do better like we'll watch highlights I guess on like games and the things we did really well and that's always really fun to watch but then we also like take like our mistakes and learn for them for the next game yeah, um, I would say the egg thing as well is something fun that we do here. And then also um, it's kind of yeah similar to SIDS, but just evaluating like like next game, like at this level, it's really just like focusing on, okay, like we won one game, now we have to prepare, prepare for the next one. So recognizing what you, the strengths that you did that helped you win that you can carry on to the next game. Awesome. All right, Caitlin. Got a question? Oh, I did think okay. of one more thing that's kind of cool. If we win on the road, if we win a game, the coaches buy us any kind of dessert afterwards. So like, for example, we won our game at Utah. So then we got, everyone could get like cheesecake or like apple crumble, cool things like that. So it's kind of an incentive too, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Motivation. All right, Caitlin, go ahead. Hi, my name is Caitlin, and what are your plans for the future? That's a good question. Um, for myself, I think I would love to go play professionally after college. That's my dream. Um, maybe the WNBA if I could get there. Um, and then I kind of want to start my own company. I'm not sure what yet, but that's what I'm going to school for, so entrepreneurship yeah awesome and gabrielle you what's your major uh i just switched to education oh mm -hmm. well all of these guys know exactly how to help you with education mm -hmm. right awesome. <laughs> some awesome teachers yes we do 
Congratulations. All right, we'll start over. Erica, would you like to ask another question? Sure. Um, how did you get so good at basketball? Oh, I, I mean, there's still, I think just working hard and never, like Gabby said earlier, never giving up. I mean, there's days that practice is really hard, but it's like, you, it's really cool. You have such a like caring group of girls and like, just, it's like a family, like everyone's there for each other and just like knowing it's going to make you a better player in person at the end of the day is like what makes me want to get better. Yeah, I agree. Um, for me, it was really like, um, so the passion for sure, like when you have the passion to do something, like you just want to perform at your best level. So you want to put extra hours in the gym. And so that helps your game. And also what really helped me like develop my game and to be like, you know, like just to get better every day was working on my mistakes. Like anytime, like I was missing shots, like I wanted to like get in the gym and work on that or like I did something like I messed up on defense. Like I wanted to get an extra work and work on that. So my mistakes like drove me as well. Making mistakes, making them better. I love it. Awesome. Okay, Taylor, your turn. How do you prepare for a game? Good question. Well, so on game day, we wake up, we have a walkthrough. And then we'll go eat like a little light breakfast and then we'll have shoot around, which is essentially where we go over the game plan and what each person wants to focus on. And then they'll usually we get like a, like a bigger breakfast or lunch. And then personally, I like to take a nap. So I take a short nap and then um, we show up about like two hours before the game and then you change, you can go see our trainer to get like treatment and stretch and then the game starts. I also get extra shots up. That's something I do do. Yeah. Anything additional you do, Gabby? Um, well, just to add on to that, cause we basically do the same kind of like mm -hmm. ritual, I guess the date, but um, I like to prepare mentally as well. And so I'll just like listen to music right before the game or just kind of like just relax my mind and prepare myself, yeah. Good choice. Okay, Elijah. How many games have you played in your whole life? Ooh. Ooh. Did you count? I don't know if I could count that number off the top of my head. Uh, I'd have to do a little bit of research. Yeah. Plus or minus, question. would you say over 100, less than 100? Definitely over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over. What's a pick a number, Elijah? How many do you think they've been and played? Mm, 1,000. 1,000? <laughs> have you been to, have you played a thousand games? I, that might be a little I, high. I don't know. That's a really good question. I never really thought about that. Like, that's a lot. That's a great question though, Elijah. You never know. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, Mackenzie. Um, are there any specific teams that you'd really like to beat? Ooh. I think for us, our goal is every team that we play, we really want to beat everyone. We're all very competitive. Uh, I don't think there's a team. I think, you know, we have like our rivalry, rivalries, so like University of Arizona, like that one's really like, we really want to beat them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with uh, Arizona as well. And also Stanford, just because our last game or how we played them, like it was so close and like them being the number one team in the nation, it just makes us like more hungry to like want to come at them at the second time and just try to beat them. They are always, it's, I mean, we always want to beat U of A kids, right? Everybody knows that we're always want to beat U of A, but in women's basketball, it is Stanford, right? That's pretty exciting stuff and it's happened. So we look forward to seeing it happen here too. Sydney, just real quick, and I'm going to ask my own question. I read that your twin sister, you played against her for the yes. first time just a few games ago. What was that like? Yeah, so I do have an identical twin sister. We look very similar. We're different positions. So growing up, it was really never like we were fighting for the same position. So it was cool because we got to like play together in our games. 
like I did something well and it would like make her do something well. Like I could pass it to her cause she's more of a post and I'm a guard. It was really cool. It was weird. Like she would do something good and I'd be like, oh yeah, like I can't, like in my head I was cheering, but I was like, I couldn't outwardly cheer cause she's on the other team. But it was, it's funny cause I never thought in a million years I would play her, especially like my freshman year, but it was really cool. And I actually had not seen her for over six months. It's the longest we had ever been apart. And so this was like, that game was the first time I got to see her. So it was a really cool experience. That's exciting. Have you ever played against somebody like a good friend, Gabby? Um, or you just want to beat everybody you play? Yeah, I don't think I've ever played against like a close friend. Oh, in high school, yeah. But mm -hmm. that's fun. Yeah. All right, Dakota, your turn. Do you get nervous when you go on the basketball court? That is a very good question. Um, yeah, I think there's always like, you always have like, but I call them like butterflies in your stomach where you're just nervous. But I think you just have to remember like all the work you put in to prepare for the game. And then you just have to remind yourself and just be confident in your preparation. And I think the coaches especially do a really good job helping us with that. Yeah, I agree. Also, I would say the most time I guess I notice myself being the most nervous is like a first game, like with a new team. That's always where my nerves are at like the highest. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Caitlin, do you have a question, hun? And a puppy dog? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody joins these press conferences, man. Everybody. <laughs> What is your favorite pro basketball? Your favorite pro basketball team? Is that your question? Okay. Who's your favorite pro basketball team, if you have one? Oh, I mean, I would say either the Golden State Warriors or I'm from Oregon. So I, the Portland Trail Blazers, I've always kind of rooted for them. Yeah. Cool. One of them. Yeah. Um, so my favorite player is Kawhi Leonard. And so my um, favorite team was the Spurs, but now I just follow wherever he goes because I just love how he plays. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, so this round we're going to have Switch and Gabby is going to answer the questions first and then we'll follow up with Sydney. And we're going to start with Erica. When she puts the dog down. There we go. What? Um... When you were a kid, um, what did you want to be a kid? When I was a kid, I think growing up, I always wanted to be, I don't really remember. I think the first time I act, oh, actually, I would just say, I really don't know. Um, I didn't think I started, th or I don't think I started thinking about the future until like, when I got older, I think growing up, I was just kind of like taking every day how it goes. But I think in like eighth grade, I wanted to be an occupational therapist. <laughs> cool gig. I'm sure you've seen a few of them. Yeah. So you want to, you're in education. Your major is now education. Mm -hmm. what, what is your ultimate goal to do with that? I think I cut you off on that answer before. Yeah. So I want to be a first grade bilingual teacher and teach Spanish and English. So we got some first graders here. Yay. <laughs> I think, Elijah, are you in first grade? Yeah. What grade awesome. are you in, Erica? Or Caitlin? She's in second. Caitlin's in second. Okay, Caitlin's in second. I knew Elijah was in first. So we got a few for you. Oh, awesome. Excellent. All right. Uh, now I'm on Taylor, I think. Taylor, is it your turn? Okay, cool. Glad you guys keep track. Where's your favorite vacation spot? Hmm. okay um I would say so I haven't been there yet but it's just my favorite um Jamaica is like a future favorite vacation spot In preferably on a cruise oh yeah oh uh, let me hmm. I think my favorite I've only been there once uh my family's from Europe so I've gotten to go see some places over there but my uncle, uh, I'd say Italy, my uncle had his wedding over there. 
And so that's the only time I've ever been there, but I just remember the food. I love food. So the food was like incredible. That is awesome. I also read you have a dual citizenship. Do you guys know what dual citizenship means, guys? She's a citizen of the United States and of Denmark. Denmark. Who can find Denmark on a map? Yeah, y'all go look it up afterwards. It's okay. very small. I'll give you a hint. It's very yeah. small. <laughs> yes. All right, Mackenzie. Um, why did you choose to come play at ASU? I chose ASU because of the coaches and the culture. Um, I just feel like, so when I, the recruiting process, the coaches sounded like they really cared about like the players and your development and like the way that they were talking to me was just like, I just felt so welcome already. Even though my recruiting process with them was like a day, it was just like, they made it not overwhelming and it was just awesome. And like, when I came here, it's like just what I thought it was going to be. So it's awesome. Yeah, I would say the same thing. For me, it was like, I could see it was my home away from home. I mean, this team and the coaches were like a family and it's amazing how much the coaches, especially like they really care about us and they will do anything for like any of us. And I'd also say too, the weather, the sun, I'm from Oregon, so it rains a lot. And I love this weather, the sun, it's amazing. You are now the third, I think we've interviewed from Oregon and they've all said the same thing. Uh, <laughs> get out of the rain, out of the rain, get out of the rain. Uh, you know, Elijah, I skipped you, bud. It's your turn. There you go. What's the highest point? What's the highest point you have scored in a game? The highest point points was my senior year of high school. I had thirty-eight. Yeah. That'd be fun to repeat this year, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> a little harder. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. I actually don't know off the top of my head. I want to say, like, either 28 or 29. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I honestly don't really care how many points I score. I just kind of, you know, it's like, that's the least important. I mean, obviously you need points to like win, but like as long as our team's winning, like I don't care if I score or not, like it's not what matters. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Awesome. Those are both pretty good numbers though, either way. So congratulations. All right, Dakota, do you have another question? Um, my favorite food is Olive Garden Italian food. What's your favorite food? I love seafood. Oh my gosh. Um, catfish, shrimp. I love it all. So I would say my favorite place to get it is a place back home in Texas. It's called Catfish Parlor. So awesome. What does catfish taste like? I've never had it. Catfish? Yeah, I've never had that. Really? Oh, it's super good. Have you ever had, sorry, we'll talk about this later, but. <laughs> uh, and the catfish outing. Yeah. Uh, for me, I love Mexican food, so really, I mean, tacos, burritos, fajitas, all the above. I, I like it all. I'm not picky. <laughs> Anybody else getting hungry? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I am. <laughs> exactly, Dakota. Okay, Caitlin, you're up. What is your favorite subject in school? Oh, good question. Good, good question. I love that question. I love math. I love numbers. I like when you get like a super hard problem and you do all this work just to come down to like two numbers. It's awesome. I love math. Yeah, cool. I would also say math, but also I love writing. I've always, I don't know. I just, I've always been able to just like get a pen and a piece of paper or just my laptop and I can just type, like, I really like it. So it's just nice too to like, if you have a lot of thoughts in your head to just like let it flow, I guess. Just yeah. relax. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Um, this is our last round. So everybody think of your best last question you haven't asked. Are you ready? Okay. 
So Erica, you are up. How do you balance school and basketball? Great question. Um, I have a planner and it is my lifesaver. Like I write down every single thing that we have for like basketball, everything I have for like school, like when I have class and when I have practice and then I'll find gaps to like put in the important stuff of what I need to do. And then I just follow that. Cause if I, if I were to just like go about my day without a planner, oh, it would be hard. So my planner is what keeps me alive. <laughs> Yeah, I would also say my planner. I love being able to like accomplish something and then just check it off. Like it's so satisfying. So I'd say that. And I just, I like, I like to write out my entire day. And then I just kind of like find little gaps too, where I have free time to like work on a different project or take a little nap. Some like just do things that make me happy, I guess. It's a hard thing. You guys got to consider that you guys have busy days at school. But then these girls also have to manage practice and film review and working out and everything else. They have very busy schedules. I have no idea how you all do it, to be honest with you. <laughs> all right, Taylor. Do you have any more hobbies other than basketball? Um, well, I would just say, for? yeah, I would just say running. I like, um, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, but that's it. I could run for days. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, awesome. I, I'd say just anything outdoors. Like I just love being outside. I, I've been on a few hikes here that were really cool and I love swimming. So yeah, those are some other things I enjoy. Activity, yeah. All right, Elijah. How would you encourage a kid like me to reach my goals? More goal setting in January. So how do we reach those goals? So the first thing is like, you're never too young to start achieving your goals. Like you're in first grade and that's, look, you're super young. You have all this time ahead of you. So like one of my biggest advice to you is, to never give up and to always be open-minded to other um, different like activities or different routes and to always listen to your parents, okay? Always listen to your parents and they're there to help you. <laughs> Excellent advice. I would say that, but I'd also say too, just give it your best shot. I mean, even if you don't achieve something the first time, just giving your best effort at everything you do I mean, you can only be happy with the effort you give. And so just having no regrets, like just be happy with what you're able to accomplish and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Awesome. Okay, Mackenzie. Um, does anyone in your family or friend circle go to ASU or went to ASU? Not for me, I am the first one. So how did you find ASU? Cause I know you were at a different college before. How did ASU come on your radar? Mm -hmm. So um, I, what I heard is that the coaches were looking at film on another player um, against my Blinn college team that I was at last year. And then they saw me. So that's how they found me. And then they reached out to me and that's where it went. <laughs> Score. Mm -hmm. Sydney, you know anyone else at Sun Devil? Um, I do know not, not all my family members didn't go here. Um, I have one friend who I just kind of grew up in the same town as, and she's actually playing volleyball here. So awesome. Yeah. Very cool. All right, Dakota. Who is or was your favorite coach? No. <laughs> <laughs> honestly um right now I've had a lot of favorite coaches that's a really good question like I cannot pick one because honestly every single coach that I've had has like developed me in ways that 
other coaches, like one coach developed me in this way. And then another coach developed me in this way, which all came together to make me like a better player. But that's a really good question. But I love all my coaches. They're all number one. <laughs> God. Nice answer. <laughs> yeah, I would also say the same thing. I think just I've always had good coaches and they all, they all see something in you that not necessarily every coach sees. So it's kind of cool when you can be coached by many people and everyone just wants the best for you. I think all, all same as Gabby, all of them are number one. I think it's, everyone brings something different to the table and it's really cool to see it all just kind of piece together. Yeah, I would add. So like the coaching staff here at ASU is like a coaching staff, staff that I've never seen before. Like not only do they care about you on the basketball court and making you like the best player that you can be, but they also do a good job of like taking care of you and wanting the best of you like outside of the court. So that's awesome that they do that here. Yeah, I mean, Coach Turner Thorne and her staff, they're all amazing people. They're, they're coaches, but they're parents. Mm -hmm. And so they just, they're great nurturing. They care about what you're gonna be like in the future. You know, you can't say that about everybody, but definitely our women's basketball staff. They are amazing. They're they very are. good. Yeah. All right. Last question goes to Miss Caitlin. Do you have one? What is your favorite drink? Ooh. Mm. Okay. I don't know if y'all know this. It's kind of like a Spanish drink, but it's called horchata. Any of y'all know it? Yeah, okay, Elijah. Elijah's on board. <laughs> I love that drink so much. That is my favorite drink. If y'all don't know it, look it up. Have your parents take you to get some. It's amazing. What kind of drink is that? Is that a soda or a... Like a milk drink, milk based. Mm, I think I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Sydney. Ooh. Um, I would either say water or I really like, I mean... It's not the healthiest, but I really love hot chocolate. So oh, I wouldn't say that. Those hot chocolate bombs. Has anybody had those hot chocolate bombs at Christmas this year? I mean, I got some for my kids. I want to just have them every day. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. I want to try them. I've never had them, but I, they look really cool. They probably mm -hmm. taste amazing. They are amazing. They just pop open and the marshmallows are hiding in there. And <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you guys did a great job with questions. Does anybody have a last question they just have to ask? I do. Okay, Mackenzie. Do either of you guys play Among Us and could you play sometime? <laughs> Among Us fans. Is that, oh, is that the game? Um, I feel, could you explain what the game is? It's the yeah. game right now. Yeah. Um, there's just a bunch of little tiny crewmates that look like beans and they run around trying to figure out who the imposter is. Oh, I have heard of that game. I don't have it, but I mean, I would be up to download it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Absolutely. You got time on the bus, time and, you know, it's a great time. <laughs> All right, well, everybody show me a pitchfork so I can snap a screenshot here. Let's get that going. One, two, look right at the cameras. There you go. Nice job. All right, let me turn. You guys did an awesome job today. All right, let's give them one. Everybody unmute and let's give a great big go devils on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Go yeah, devils. There you go. All right. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you being here. And as soon as we can, we will have the Junior Sun Devil Club there cheering you on in person. But for now, you guys can watch them on TV and just, you know, you know two names on the team that you can cheer for, right? Awesome. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye.